I think of this ceremony as being about intellectual community. And we all are here for the opportunity to sort of reaffirm and reconnect so why we decided to become part of an intellectual community and what kind of intellectual community we want to create here at Scripps. When I think about my own experiences with intellectual community, I really think about my first one as being when I went to college, to Carleton College, an institution that has some similarities with Scripps now many years ago. And that was the first place that I really experienced intellectual community. And I know for me there that transition was not really about being on this great campus with a huge library and moving into a dormitory, and, and there I should say it was definitely a dormitory, not a residence hall. There were not living rooms, no browsing rooms, there were lounges, and those are different. Um, but what was really remarkable to me, or what really happened to me when I went to college, was a shift in mindset. That like so many of you, I had been a good student in high school, but being a student in high school was very much about performing. It was about doing well on those tests and exams and on papers. And I, when I went to college, things shifted, where suddenly I became aware of the joy of thinking for thinking's sake. And it was unifying around that, that that's what so many of the students and so many of the faculty were there to do together that made such a difference for me in college. And so I found myself motivated during that time by the desire, the joy and experiencing turning an idea that seems so well grounded on its head and thinking about it in a whole different way. Or connecting two concepts that had never been connected before and seeing what happened. Or just experiencing that achievement of deconstructing somebody else's logic or creating really tight logic on my own. And it was just those thought processes and engaging that in, in that in a community of people who valued thinking for thinking's sake that really made me love the academic world, made me understand how special college is, and made me want to continue into higher education. And I would say for the entirety of my career, I've really been motivated by that desire to think for thinking's sake. And I would say it's not in conflict with the performance kinds of things that I talked about earlier. In fact, when I reflect over my career as a college student, as a graduate student, and even once I became a scholar, a researcher, and a teacher, my very best work occurred when I kind of forgot about what other people would think about it and whether I'd get an A, whether the paper would get published, whether the students would like it and I just threw myself into the ideas. And what I hope for us at Scripps is that we can enjoy our ability to be in that environment. And I know many of you are sort of way ahead of me on this, that you're here because you know that this is a place that values that kind of thoughtfulness and contemplation. I came to Scripps to be in that kind of environment, and I know that many of you did as well. That we're all here as learners to learn from one another, to engage in that thoughtful process, and to do it for its own sake rather than to be the person who's right or who knows best. Though the harder we think, the more I believe we will find the truth. To create a community like this, we really require, and what I have already seen in such vibrant existence here, is a certain kind of interaction between faculty and students. And I see it here as a bit of a dance or a two-way street. Faculty learn from the students as much as the students learn from the faculty. And the dance part of it is that I see the faculty ready and willing to step out and model this kind of thinking for its own sake, and then invite the students to join them and they create what I think is a beautiful ensemble. 
And so for that, as well as for all of the other contributions that this faculty makes, I want to thank you and applaud your great contributions to Scripps.